in close uh, races, definitely it could impact as things like that have impacted past elections in not only in the Philippines, but in other countries as well. And uh, what you mentioned about uh, uh, the A and B classes being difficult to interview, that is true in almost all countries. Mm -hmm. So survey firms face the same problem. The uh, question therefore is, is that class or are those classes A and B big enough to impact on uh, elections? Yeah. Now, if the uh, election is not very close, then it will probably not matter. But I noticed, I noticed because Pulse Asia said that A and B classes are limited to one to four percent only of the voters, mm -hmm. one to four percent, so quite small. But uh, another socioeconomic classification Actually. system, uh, the one sec 2017, which I referred to in my uh, post. Mm -hmm produced by a project funded by the World Bank and uh, done by some professors from UP, colleagues of Anna, had a 9% uh, share of A and B. So mm -hmm. that's much bigger than the 1% to 4% uh, assessment of past Asia. And if the, as I said, if the election is closed, the 9% uh, exclusion, although not intended, can make a lot of difference in the final election results. Oh, well, <laughs> well uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Per, per, per the Pulse Asia uh, survey, it is not a close fight at all. But I think if you sum up all those oversampling of the older participants, mm -hmm. under not not really oversampling, but under representation of the young the younger. Mm. in the sample, under representation of the uh, A and B and C classes, and mm. under representation of those who reached college, they can sum up to a huge number uh, because we are talking only of 2,400.